more than the Series S? Microsoft ain't playing. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing bro before we get started with the video give it a thumbs up this is breaking news bra it looks like the xbox series s is not the only xbox console launching in addition to the series x more code name consoles have been discovered. Let's talk about it. I'm going to share my thoughts. All right. <laughs> Software developer at Billy Hibbler tweeted a picture of, check out the code name, Edinburgh and count code names in the code of the latest GDK game developer kits for Microsoft. The code also contains references to Xbox Lockhart, thought to be the code name for the Xbox Series X. And so, according to this article, um, it's saying the Xbox Series X could launch alongside a surprise Edinburgh console, another console called Edinburgh. <coughs> More options, the better for gamers. This is what I'm thinking. We're probably going to get the Xbox Series S and this codename Edinburgh could be the same console without the disc, the disc slot. Just like Sony is doing with the PlayStation 5. And there's another code name. So I'm thinking even with the Xbox Series S, there could be a disc based version and a disc lex version to even lower the price just imagine bro if the lockhart launches at 300 let's say they could probably even push it to 200 with the lowered specs it'll still have a good cpu but at 200 imagine microsoft launching a disc less version for even 50 dollars cheaper bro xbox could be launching a $150 next gen console. And it's really just to get you in the Xbox ecosystem, no disc. It could very well be possible. And so, bro, this is just dropping today. Um, and so they're saying a surprise Xbox Series S could launch alongside surprise. Edinburgh, code name Edinburgh for another console option. <coughs> or this could backfire and it could confuse gamers walking to the store. Four new consoles? Too many. Microsoft just don't pull a um Sega where Sega had too many consoles back to back to back to back and they went out of business. <laughs> All right. So, but I thought this was interesting. I had to share it with you guys. This is crazy. But the next news is even crazier. What if I told you a Nintendo Switch exclusive made by the Pokemon developers was coming to the Xbox? It is. Former Nintendo Switch exclusives. Got a surprise release on the Xbox out of nowhere. Little Town Hero. Um, I believe this is all. Is this already on the PlayStation 4? I'm not sure. But this is coming from comicbook.com. <coughs> Former Nintendo Switch exclusive game just released on Xbox out of nowhere. What's crazy is this is made by the Pokemon developers. This is what dudes don't realize. Pokemon is not Nintendo. 
Pokemon is made by Game Freak. They have a close partnership with Nintendo. Nintendo actually has stake in Game Freak. So will Pokemon ever come on Xbox or PlayStation 4? Probably don't hold your breath on it. But the fact that Game Freak, that Game Freak, synonymous with Nintendo, is now making former exclusives available on other platforms. I'm telling you, man, I want next gen to be platform agnostic, bro. Where it don't matter, you pick up your um, PlayStation 5, you could play Halo. You could play Mario Odyssey, where everybody's just playing their games on everybody's platform, bro. And just the platforms have different features and functionalities that you know, gamers may prefer. That would be dope. All right. Um, the, uh, the, um, according to this report, the Xbox, the Xbox Store page says the game came out on Xbox back on June 23rd, except it didn't. The listing only popped up today. Making matters strange is the fact that the game is 2149. <laughs> even that sounds random, but even the article is saying. A complete, a completely random price point for a new game, okay. Um, and so it's saying at the moment of publishing, Game Freak has not clarified what's going on, but the game is available to purchase on the Xbox Store right now. And so, Little Town Hero, made by Pokemon developers, is now available on. The Xbox. Maybe somebody in the conversation could tell me if this game is already available on on the PS4. I'm not sure. I like to say it is, but this just came out of nowhere, bro. Crazy news. All right, some more, two more dope news items. Then we're gonna shut this video down. Dirt Five. This is coming from PushSquare.com. Dirt Five now will have a PlayStation 5 option to run at 120 frames per second. And so, it's good to see that both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X breaking those 60 frames per second barrier, which was the standard, the, what gamers ideally wanted on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Now, they're cranking out games that can run at 120 frames per second. Um, dirt Dirt 5, Dirt 5, the Dirt series, one of my favorite racing series, but now they got, they're going to have stiff competition with GT, Gran Turismo 7 also coming out on the PlayStation 5, which is going to be the racing game I'm more than likely going to be picking up first. Um, it's been a minute since I hopped on a good Gran Turismo game. And so Dirt 5 running at 120 frames per second confirmed confirmed for the PlayStation 5 which I thought was crazy and as I reported earlier today about NBA 2K next gen coming at 70 bucks well it looks like more game developers will be adopting a $70 price point for triple A next gen games this is coming from IGN.com speaking with games industry Dot biz IDG president and CEO Yoshio Osaka explained why next gen software more than likely will be 70 bucks saying that um, the pricing has remained flat since 2005 um, whereas TV and moving prices movie prices has increased significantly so his argument is um, everywhere prices have gone up except for games they remained at the 60 price point since 2005. And he's saying that um, because of inflation and other factors, game development costs um, expects price increases to around 74 next gen games, which I ain't tripping too much. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this news, in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click the subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Bulbasar. Are you going to PlayStation next? You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. 
I gotta hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces